Hey YouTubers, Shell Sullivan here. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a new subscriber who asked me to blow something up already. And he made me think, it's true, I haven't blown anything up in a while. So today I'm going to make a pretty big homemade firecracker made from gun cotton. I tried this experiment before some months ago, and I've actually found that I couldn't get the gun cotton to quite go off like I did my homemade black powder firecrackers. But I'm going to give it another shot because I'm all out of homemade black powder and I got tons of gun cotton. So let's get started. Okay YouTubers, this is what I'm going to use for my tube, my firecracker tube. You rocketeers out there may recognize one of these. This is an Estes rocket engine, one of the store-bought purchase ones. But I've, I've been making my own homemade rocket engines and this is actually a paper bag from the grocery store that's been rolled up and painted while I roll it up with wood glue. It makes a very, very solid tube, very much like what you find from these model rocket engines. And I started making my own rocket engines and you see it fits in my homemade rocket. So I've got a bunch of these that I pre-made up for making rockets and rocket videos are coming. I'm gonna do a, a whole lot of homemade rocket videos in the future, but for now, we're gonna blow something up. So I'm gonna use this tube. I, of course, I'm, I have uh, learned to make some homemade fuse, but I just bought some, some safety fuse from one of the uh, firework suppliers online. So we're gonna use some of this safety fuse. I've got a drill bit, I think this is a 532nd. It's just gonna fit about the same size as that fuse. And I think I'm gonna use hot glue plugs here at the end to seal them off and of course we're going to need some of that extremely fast burning gun cotton that I make I'll give you an example here Woof! <laughs> I never failed to get a kick out of that hmm you know actually I think a paper wad might be good. I can put a paper wad and fill it in with glue and then kind of press it down so I get a nice flat even cap on both sides. And I think I'm going to fuse it right in the middle like those classic M80s were. If you played with M80s as a kid. I found, found some of my rocketeering, rocket making materials here. This is the uh, little caps I used to plug off the black powder charge at the top, the parachute ejection charge. I couldn't find my my impacting dowel I gotta I gotta clean up my shop but anyway here's how we're gonna do this we're gonna put this over here that rubber cap over the end of this wrench I'm gonna slide it in the tube and we're gonna leave a half an inch open at the top I'm going to fill that up full of hot glue. I don't like that bubble in there. There. Bubble gone. One side plugged up there. I'm going to go ahead and make my fuse hole. I'm going to drill it down the center. Let's check and make sure that size actually fits that fuse. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so now we're on this. How, just how much gun cotton we want to put in this thing? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Estimate here: quarter ounce, half ounce, three quarters of an ounce, an ounce. That's a lot. Do not try this at home. YouTube and I are not responsible for your craziness at your home. So don't follow my lead. I don't think I'm going to get an ounce in there. Uh, we'll see what I can do. I'm, not getting, I'm probably only going to get a half of this in there. 
Mm, maybe. It packs down pretty good. And of course, when you the more you pack it down, the more likely you are to get some detonation as opposed to deflagration. I don't really... I need to learn more about the physics and the chemistry of this stuff. Because I'm pretty much untrained in both. <laughs> some high school classes. Some... I did have some basic physics classes in college, but that was many years ago. Alright, so that's a half an ounce. Here's three quarters. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to get an ounce in there. This is going to be spectacularly powerful or an utter failure. Oh, holy crap. So that's like four times what I put in my... Oh, that's in there good. So that's four times what I put inside of my side loading gun cotton combustion chamber. I don't know if you've seen my um, breaching test video where I put up to five times, you know, one and a quarter ounce into my, um, oh, into one of these. And, and it didn't, and it didn't turn this into a pipe bomb, which is what I was after. But this, we actually do want this to explode. So let me make sure that my I got enough room for my fuse to go back in there. Might have to drill that out a little bit. Let's see. Always give yourself plenty of fuse, people. Fuse is cheap online. I'm going to fuse that at about six inches. I don't know what I'm going to put this yet either, so. Just. I don't have any watermelons to blow up at the moment. All right, so I'm going to cap off this other side with some paper. So let's cap off this, this other end here. That's right, this fuse will burn right through hot glue. It'll burn through tape. It'll burn in underwater even. This is good stuff. Ow, hot glue is hot. I want to make sure there's a nice seal around that fuse, too. Yeah, I don't know if this is necessary or not, but I've some of my black powder ones actually blew the plugs out instead of, uh, you know, cracking and building enough pressure to crack the tube. So I'm just going to try something here. I don't know if it's going to make any difference or not, but I'm just going to take a little piece of paper here. And let's do the same to the other. Alright, let's let that hot glue cool off and then we'll uh, see what happens. Here's my one ounce of very powerful, very fast burning gun cotton or nitrocellulose inside of my homemade rocket tube and I don't have any I'd like to have some fruit to blow up but I don't have any so I'm, I think I'm just gonna go maybe tie it to a tree in the woods or something like that tape it down to a tree I've seen this six ounces of gun cotton go off on a video on YouTube I'll try maybe I'll link that down below and they kind of just tied it to a tree taped it to a tree so I think I'm gonna do something similar Let's go, let's go find a spot. <laughs> oh, 
Well, that was quite the pop. If my eyes aren't deceiving me, maybe it was just tape, but it looked like I had a bunch of unburnt cotton there. But let's go check out and see what the damage is. Unburnt gun cotton. It's just so fast. It's just so very, very fast. It's so fast that well, my end caps held, and I certainly blew that rocket thing, the rocket container up. But look at so much unburnt gun cotton. See, that's that's deflagration. That's each bit of gun cotton catches on fire, sets the next adjacent piece of gun cotton on fire again. That's not detonation. When you have detonation, you'll have a sh actually a shock wave go through all the material, and the shock wave itself is what sets off the material, and that's a much, much faster and much, much more energetic reaction. And I'm not getting that. This is, that was pretty cool, but yeah. Not as powerful as it could be so I got I got a lot to learn but that was a nice pal it didn't do as much damage to this tree as I thought it would though unburnt gun cotton everywhere So I need to figure out how to make this stuff detonate if I really want to get something to explode. Because I could have filled that with black powder, homemade black powder. And even though gun cotton is more powerful than black powder, that black powder thing, the black powder um, in one of these rocket tubes would have been much more powerful, I suspect. All right, pretty cool experiment. I need to work on that and see if I can figure out how to really get this stuff to detonate as opposed to deflagrate. That's part of what the fun is of trying this stuff is just learning and not just doing the research and book learning and learning everything from someone who's already an expert. That's important to learn like safety precautions from experts. But I just like trying things on my own and seeing how they turn out because that's part of the, the wonder of it. That's kind of the scientific inquiry. It's the curiosity, the satiation of your own curiosity with your own two hands and your own brain. And that's what makes making so much fun. That's what makes pyro so much fun. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. If you like that video, then please give me a like. Uh, if you think a friend might like to check it out, then you can share it. If you got comments, they go down below. Suggestions. What should I do to this to make it detonate as opposed to defecrate? And uh, subscribe to my channel. But only if you think I earned it. Ow, hot glue is hot.